welcome to Halftime TV, the show that uses state-of-the-art technology to help you decide what you should be watching on TV and what you should give a miss. To help me uh, separate the wheat from the chaff. Chaff. Wait, isn't it? Chaff. Is that what I mean? So, uh, chaff's what you separate the wheat from. Of course. Uh, is, of course, Anthony Richardson. Hello. And this week, we're looking at National Geographic's latest documentary series, uh, Yukon Gold, about a group of people mining for gold. Let's take a peek. Let's lose that motherfucker! <laughs> now we're mining! Woo! You just gotta be careful that it doesn't consume you. Because it can. So, Anthony, it was about gold. Yeah. But was it TV gold? Well, it's, it's very hard to say even after a really good sifting. Now, you're seeing a lot these days documentaries. That's the genre. Uh, now, this one's about gold. You don't see many gold documentaries, but even so, you do see documentaries. Uh, it's set in the Yukon district, this one. Uh, so who really set out for you as the series' biggest characters? Well, there's very interesting contrast going here between the three characters. Uh, lots of characters in this show, not just three. Uh, and that's what documentaries do. Documentaries look at characters, uh, but they're real ones. Uh, and here's one of the characters. Al, he's very smiley. He's an old man. He's a smiley old man. Frieza. Why well, I got more balls than brains. What do you think, hero? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, let's just break down that phrase that's he's just not said. Right. Well, no, it's not, because if you break down what he's saying there, he's got more balls than brain. Yeah, I mean, he didn't mean that, though. Well, no, just... let's just take it as read that he did mean that. The average well, brain weighs 1,360 grams. Yeah. The average pair of testicles weighs 28 grams. So more than and if others. And you just, if you just draw, I'm just drawing balls all over him to show you what it would look like if he had the same weight of testicles on yeah. him uh, as brain. And I've done, I'm doing penises as well because just so you know, they're balls. Right, I see the penises. Yeah, because yeah. you c often when you draw testicles on their own, they you can't tell what they are like unless months. you've drawn the, the penis. Balls, balls, cool. balls. That's amazing. Well, what did you make of uh, Bernie? Just, He's the sort of opposite number. Just doing lots of balls. Um, so there'll be and balls think, here. Uh, what about Bernie? He seems a, an odd kind of guy. Yeah, Bernie's a patronising dad. Mm. Uh, he's roped his uh, sons and his friend into joining a team. Now, he tries to be a cool guy, a cool dad. Mm. A lot of people think, can I be a cool dad? Don't look at him if you want to be a cool dad, yeah. because I don't think his son, from his body language, is really into this. Well, you've, you've picked out a moment, haven't you? picked out a moment. It's nice to see you guys finally work. It's that father-son thing going on all the time. <laughs> now, slow down that clip there. Look at that chest bump. Look at the air he's getting off that chest bump. Whoa. And then look at the space there. And look at the space his son's moving into. Look at the space between them generated by that chest bump. That's divisive. I think that's, that's showing you that. It's, what's strange is I would never have noticed that had you not done these drawings on there. Yeah, yet. that's why I've slowed it down and done the drawings. God, that's amazing. Bernie does have a vivid imagination. Woo! Feeling strong. I got tiger blood. I'll go till midnight. Strange thing to say. So it is strange. Imagine what it would be like to have tiger blood. Yeah, a tiger's yeah, blood. Yeah, might dream because it'd be like half man, half tiger. Uh, I'd have like fur all over me. You know, I could have, I could have it. I could have women, money. No, 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 no. No, you'd be dead. You'd what? be dead. Well, the, 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 you'd reject the blood of a, of a tiger. Your body would reject. Your organs would fail. Oh, yeah. You'd be dead within seconds. Of course. I mean, You're, pigs, we can sometimes, you know, you get a transplant of a pig's, like, liver or yeah, something like or that. Yeah, his face or... No, not just, like, the blood seems to work with pigs, but it doesn't work just with any blood. others. Yeah, yeah. So you'd be dead. So what about Ken? He spent a long time on the phone with his wife, who was very agitated. Let's have a look. You know what's been hard on the marriage? Not bringing in money all the time. Did you hear what I said? Oh, man, oh, man. My wife can't sleep. We have a lot of payments due, and we need some gold. Oh, my God! I gotta go. I love you. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't. I couldn't put up with that. Could you? I mean, that is. Should he maybe? 
you know, like jack her in. She doesn't sound like she's into him. I don't think he can jack her in. I don't think he can. If you look at this Venn diagram I've drawn of, of the, the, the women available to, to Ken here, yeah. it's very meagre, very meagre compared to the average man. All he can choose between are, are really rocks and, uh, and, and grubby men. And we know his sexual preference is hetero, so he can't go for the men. The other, the other thing's rocks. You can't bum a rock. Believe me, no matter how hard you try, you cannot bum a rock. Oh, so, um, just thinking, we were talking about gold, weren't we? And I, I actually found some gold outside in the car park. Um, yeah, it's quite warm now, I've been sat on it. But is that gold? I, I, don't, I wouldn't really know. What is, it's either the gold or gold plated. Um, no, nah, that's not gold. Isn't it? No, nah, that's not gold. Now, I, can, I can see why you thought it might be gold. Yeah. But it's very, gold's a very difficult thing to, to really identify. Oh, is it? So I'll, I'll, be, I'll just take that and if, well, you won't get it confused with any other gold you might spot, so. Oh, that's, that's, but that's No, that's not gold. Oh, thanks for that, yeah, because otherwise I'll get it mixed up, I'll, I'll, I'll get them. You'll get the, you'll get the, go yeah. the gold and not gold. Oh, I know, I'm like, I'll get it mixed <coughs> up. Yeah. Thanks, Anthony. So what's your overall score for Yukon Gold then? Uh, overall, I'm going to give Yukon Gold 5,400. Well, that's, that's quite high, isn't it? That's out of 8,000. Okay, so it's like four or five out of 10, maybe? Uh, it's 5,400 out of 8,000. All right. Great, so uh, we've got just enough time to look at the league table. Anthony, so Atlantis, that BBC One show. Yeah. Ugh. Why is that in that place? Uh, the, name's, the name's good, and a, a lot of times you look on the TV listings and you think that's a good name and you watch it, so that's why I've put it there, just so that people can look at the name. Strictly though, struggling. Uh, yep, strictly struggling, uh, because it's not as good as the others. Yukon Golden at seventh. Homeland is, uh, it's dropped a couple of places, Anthony. Why is that? Why have you just... Well, I can't understand why Carrie's pregnant. I think she had... She uh, slept with somebody, didn't she? Th well, I didn't see that, and I don't understand. It's just been sprung upon us. Oh, yeah. Uh, wh why is she suddenly pregnant? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it got me thinking. On Facebook, all of my friends are starting to get pregnant. I'm seeing people's baby photos all over, all over Facebook. My, my mother's friend at work, her colleague, has just got pregnant. What are, everyone's getting pregnant. What, what are they trying to say? Am I, am I behind in life? I don't, I, I don't want... I, so that's why Homeland 7th. Well, I agree in some ways, because I also find Homeland troublesome. Uh, what's Saul's voice about? That is so gruff, isn't it? Like, whose voice is that gruff? Like, I'm Saul, previously on Homeland, previously on Homeland, I'm Saul. A lot of people Do have I... problems with their voices. Yeah. A lot of people have problems with their voices. They've got raspy voices, and, and it's good that he's got work as a, an actor having a really raspy voice. Homeland. Um, well, uh, Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, so remember, if you want to be a real man, drink tiger's blood. Uh, but remember that you, you will die. Uh, that's right, isn't it, Anthony? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't understand what you said. Yeah. Good. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>